Hey what's up guys, I'm Campo Nano and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing some more Red Dead Redemption 2. So in the last video we made it to chapter 3 and we're now at a whole new camp location. We're closer to Rhodes. We had a run-in with the Pinkertons and yeah that pretty much set us off and we well that wasn't the, the straw. Um, we also did like a mission with John with some sheep and Leviticus Leviticus Cornwall, <laughs> that's his name. He uh, found Dutch in Valentine and there is a little bit of a shootout. Strauss was hurt. I think it was Strauss. I think he was shot in the leg. And that was what made us run away. Unintentionally, we ended up doing a lot of uh, story missions. So today we are just gonna calm a bit down, talk to people, do some side quests and yeah just go and explore roads a bit more the new town that we have available to us and yeah i'm excited don't i have a dog in the background going crazy um right there she's playing with her beloved fox so yeah that's the plan i have so far we'll see uh, how things uh, goes so if you guys are ready i think that we should just get started Look at this pretty, pretty, pretty view. All right. Oh, 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 we have so much available. Wait, 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 wait. We have a home robbery with Sean. <sighs> okay. I know I said that we were going to take it slow. We did talk to people a lot in the last, um, the last video uh, once we got to this camp um, I'm gonna talk to Strauss because I could imagine he's just gonna give us a location maybe ah, Herr Morgan Herr Morgan <laughs> Herr Strauss how are you enjoying yourself here well enough I guess and you well it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? I, I don't know. Well, come on, then. <laughs> Tell me I don't what. really Here's agree with that. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was... Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> yeah. All right. I just wanted to talk to him. Um, because individuals that owe the game money are marked seek out the debtors to recover. Oh, we can play with Micah. Okay, we're doing that. We're doing that. Okay. He's Sit probably going to be a pro. Friend, and show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. <laughs> I can't see the knife though. You're, You're holding nothing. Now. Okay. You no, know, I think the last time I played this was with Skinny and those boys and Strawberry. Before, well, things all went a little crazy. A little crazy? A feller stupid enough to disrespect me during a knife game Ugh, deserves what he gets. Sharp, I know. Mm -hmm. He is pretty fast. Oh no. He's pretty good. Don't think oh, we can okay. afford to mess up.
So wait, is this a different one? Is this just how many you can do? In a certain amount of time? Because I can't see the time. Is it counting down? I think it is, because it's this message over the the time, which is a bit annoying, but uh Ah, is this a joke? <laughs> You'd think. I think it is counting down. And then we need to beat four laps. Okay. You know, there's more shame in losing uh, after you lose a so finger. Good. Can you go, like, too fast? Oh, oh. Wait. This is too easy. It is. Well. I'll leave before you lose a hand. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get the video started with, um... Hey, Arthur. Dropping. Yeah. So, a house? Tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well... Same. In that case, <laughs> you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? I might have to go put my dog somewhere right, because she's this. having the time of her life. Sorry about that. She's an expert at distracting and there's too much dialogue in this game that I can afford that. <laughs> Alright, Sean. How far is this place? Bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. True. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box boy is tent for then? Camp funds, supplies, and the like. Okay, I see. I was wondering. I was wondering why the that, camp funds wasn't going up. Ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scope this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid, we got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. 
Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Cows! Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't read a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. Hmm. How far is it now? Not too much for them. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. I don't even know what I'm here to no more. All right. That left away. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right. It's going to be off the road up ahead. Look at the stars. Up here, Morgan. Here, go to rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. All right. Can I eat something real quick? There you go. Need to keep our figure. Oh, there it is. Look, there's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Alright. seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. <gasps> here come the rest of them. Sneaky. Where are they? Watch it! They're coming out! We got more coming out of the woods! They always you appear from the woods. Give it up now! Okay, he's the last one. Okay, stop okay, crouching. Okay, I give up! Don't shoot! I ain't armed! So what we're doing with him? Tell us where you stash your money, oh. and we'll let you live. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a trap. You know what? Just get the hell out of here, and don't look back. You'll often find the best option won't be immediately killing everyone you come across. Uh, in the bedroom? So, here we are. We got some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? We're well, not gonna keep an eye on him. They Told you we take him, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Go get up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. 
sure. Lose board. Find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? No, 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 no. Hey. This is more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. You're yeah, leaving me? Folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. Uh, there often be lucrative opportunities found at homesteads and a method to make off with the most amount of money won't always be the same. That's cool. Does someone go in here? Oh, wait. Hmm. Permanent American's card. Is the law going to show up? If so, I'm going to get in trouble. All right, what we have here? Salted meat. Oh, take it. Search the sink. Can't take any more of that. Uh, I did see that some of you take the cheese. Some of you wanted me to drink some something. Fortifies could try this one. I don't know. There we go. Let's loot the bastards. Did he just shoot him? Probably. A little more ammunition. Okay. Yeah, I should probably see if we could, like, upgrade some things. So we could potentially carry more stuff. Let's see. You all right, girl? Okay. I hope I found most, but we all know I always miss something, so... Oh, there's a stranger here. Okay. Let's do that then. Um, oh, we need to, okay. Oh, what's this? Oh. What in the world? Albert Mason needs some further help with his wildlife. Wildlife photography. I also need to go check that out. A lot of um, side missions are yep. starting to uh, pop up. I like it. Easy there. What happened here? What the devil are you looking at? Am I not allowed to look? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. 
Who He's wants British. to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. Daddy. I didn't want to be in the army. Oh, now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, huh? I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyiki. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. <laughs> Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam. <laughs> it's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret. Mistress of fucking danger. <laughs> Mistress of fucking danger. <laughs> oh, this game, man. Okay, so... Margaret. Zebra should be around here somewhere. So, is it just one at a time, Mark? Okay. Um, I'd need to go and pay off the bounty. Well, I don't have to, but... Um, we're going to. And that was not really in our cards <laughs> for what I was planning on doing today. Um, but we could make our way towards the town. Although I'm a little bit worried since Billy Midnight is here. But again, we haven't ended up shooting like all of the... But I want to go to the store, see if we could maybe buy like an outfit or something and... You know, maybe stock up on f food. No, I, I know you guys said that I don't need to buy food, but... Um, I should also cook something but yeah we are gonna go hunting eventually let's um Whoa, give our horse but we could also buy things for the horse right yeah. should also work on them yeah just uh, go into roads see what that town is all about see if they got some secrets or just get to know the people a little bit yeah. uh, do they have a stable I don't think they do maybe yeah, I also need to check out the saloon maybe we could get a haircut or something Uh oh. Yeah! Uh oh. You're in this state for the federal government. You're an enemy of this state. Get away! I ain't. You're done now! Oh my God! Thank you, stranger. These raiders are insane. You okay? Get out of here before more of them show up. Would they. What? Oh, there's already. Oh, God. Oh, it was a raider. I could take the hat? Wait, hold on.
<laughs> Look at this hat. Okay. Oh, no. That, no, Arthur. No. Cancel. Cancel. Sorry. I don't want to loot him. Go. Um. Now I do not want to keep that hat, so uh Easy easy. Oh I thought there was a snake for a second. Like the <laughs> The branch is here. Oh, that scared me. God damn. I was like, <gasps> I don't. That's a big snake. <laughs> oh, there he is. Right. We're quite a bit away from the. Easy now. What was that noise? Do you guys hear that? Yeah. <gasps> Look at the cows. Easy. Whoa. A Florida cracker cow. Kinda? Do we want to go up there? Uh, I mean, there's a guy. <gasps> I did not mean to do that. That's for sure. Yep. Is that the bull in there? They're se separated from the others. So up now. It is. Uh, Hereford bull. Hereford. Here. Hereford. Now there's a man up there. <gasps> is that a... Is that a... It is a donkey! <gasps> Can I pet it? Oh! Buddy! Look at him! Look at it! Goodness. That was adorable. Hey there! Hey! You there! Tell me what the hell you're doing here. I'm sorry. Okay, not friendly. Don't want to cause no trouble, okay? I'm not allowed to. Well, we are outside the circle, but... I do not want to kill an innocent man because I like his animals. Okay. There's also some houses there. There's a lot of houses around. What the hell is this place? Oh, that's the fence. Okay, let me have a look. <gasps> a pig! Hey, puppy. I guess... Cats. What the hell is that breed? Hello. Morning, mister. Somebody's had a few. <laughs> hey, y'all. Yep, good morning. Howdy, partner. I mean, I can go into the houses, but I don't think they're, they're gonna necessarily like that. Oh! Is that a cat? Good lord. Howdy. Rat <gasps> bastards. 
Excuse me? It's all good. Calm down. Dick. Hey, boy. Oh, damn. He's so skinny. Oh, puppy. Oh. Okay, we're getting some food, Arthur. Gonna be okay. Okay, we're almost in town. Don't run him over, Jesus. Hey there, girl. All right, big beans. Oh. All right, let's go into the store first. See if... Hello. Oh, can I go in there? Wait, wait, wait. Hello, boy. No, it's boarded up. But there's a door there. I probably can't go in if I can't see through the windows. Well, never mind. I can go in here. Probably stealing from someone. Is that a shell fragment? Oh, I was not looking at that whatsoever. An ingredient required to craft a bison horn talisman. Oh, cool! One of many. Um. All right, well, I did not expect to be able to go in here. Is there anything else around? Probably not. This could have been such a cute house, though. Oh, what's over there? <laughs> Getting distracted, I'm sorry. What's... Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I know what this is. Got dark real fast. Holy shit. Let's not go up there. <laughs> um. Okay. We have a toilet. like a nice little porch whatever you call it hello hi there folks good morning to you sir sir morning good morning you. good morning to you thank you the gray woolen mill hey there mister fine morning why is he called gray Vegetables. Can we take some of that? What's this? It's like a little shed. Or an animal. Okay, toilet. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not going in there. Civil War veteran. Hello. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Sure. We love veterans. Oh. Well, thank you. 
Got say, plenty to spare. Say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from right here. Yeah, it was you I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. A bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Hmm. All right. Hey there. Who's this then? If you don't mind, partner, I can't sure like run into some right nice now. folks out this way. All right. All the best to you. All right now. <gasps> Should we get the paper? We haven't done that in a while. Also need to read Arthur's journal. Wanna buy something? Said the niece, hi. Well, there it is. I'll take a paper, please. All right. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Is there new paper every Line day? Up, Good lord. Okay. Let's, get your paper. Let's just have a skim through these. Train robbery. Wagon blocked. Train. Officials call for action. Gertrude Bombeck was knitting a hat for her niece when her train lurched uh, to a stop and shouting commenced. I feared for my life, she said. Passengers were subjected Line to a terrifying up, ordeal as the train was robbed near the Lemurian border. Outlaws used an oil wagon on the tracks to cause the train to come to a stop. They then threatened the passengers to give up their belongings. It was then the, that lawmen have been tipped off to the robbery arrived on the scene. But who would have Line known up, about Rose. that Get your paper. and confronted the outlaws? Sherrod Tompkins was one of the, those lawmen who arrived on the scene. There is very little to tell. We are searching for evidence at this time. The passengers are in great distress. The supply cars have been looted. Men are dead. This region's problem with lawlessness have returned. Is, Reports indicate the outlaws escaped after having engaged in a furious gun battle with the lawmen. President uh, congratulates America. Says U.S. is unstoppable. Spanish-American War outcome celebrated. Victory in 100 days. Line up, Rhodes. Get your okay. paper. I'm gonna. I'm only mainly gonna read about the um, the stories about what you know the gang is doing. So I'm gonna read this in uh, when I edit the videos when it's not really about the gang. Local man finds rock carvings. Church officials denounce Line claim. Up, Rhodes. Get your paper. Mexican desperados bring terror. Grizzlies under this, under siege. Okay. Boldness of the Lycos gang worries the law. Murderer up, on loose was headed to prison. Ambush frees outlaw member of Ventolin gang. Hut chase for fugitives. Sean, Ma oh, that's about oh Sean McGuire, a member of the notorious Dutch Vandalin gang, has escaped from custody. McGuire was captured and in the process of being transported from Blackwater to a federal prison in the Line West. Up, he is Get part of the Vandalin gang who were who were responsible for the recent Blackwater boat robbery that left many dead. The shootout was fierce and several men were killed as a result. Bounty Hunter had caught McGuire but were ambushed on a stretch of the upper Montana River by confederates of the accused. Line Upon up, relating the circumstances of the escape, one lawman on the scene said that McGuire repeatedly expressed the idea of jail as no terror to him, nor the idea of death by hangman's news. McGuire was once suggested to a sheriff that his rope wasn't stout enough and make break under his weight. Officials have Follow called for action saying the escape is yet another example of the inability of police to keep criminals in, in incarcerated. Cornwall expansion continues from come something? 
Request government protection, extra, extra. cities rubbery. All your news where the needs in one page. Okay, I think I'm going to read this one because it's pretty story related. Leviticus Cornwall is a well known ex expansionist. A railroad, rail, railroad into every expanse of this country is only a matter of time. He declared when launching the Cornwall Southern and Eastern up, Railways. He builds the trains and uses them to ship goods for Cornwall freight. freight. Right in commodities, Cornwall, kerosene, and tar, and his other businesses concern. Hey, business concern. Out of the way. His sugar business reaches into Caribbean, and not a week goes by without Light a ship ferry Cornwall sugar calling into America. Aww. Am I gonna get run over? Well, no. how's it holding up? He's talking to that guy. Okay. <laughs> I was worried. I was, but I'm not in the middle of the road. Um, sorry. He is now calling for government support to bring protection to industries working to improve conditions in the West after a string of robberies. Mr. Cornwall, who has been known to speak glibly, glibly about the evil effects of education upon certain kinds of lesser intellects, is one of the wealthiest men in the region and requires numerous private guards to protect his person and multiple concerns. Line Despite up, questionable accounts of poor conditions at plantations run by Cornwall employees, his goods flow throughout much of the United States and Congress has so far shown little ap ap appetite, appetite <laughs> for bragging up uh, what many people call a up, regional monopoly of services alongside his private militia. He is believed to be one of the principal the principal clients of the Pinkerton agency in the region. Mm. Oh, I don't... Cigarette cars give fame to murderer. Line up, Rhodes. Get your papers. Death lurks in the dust. Scarlet fever rages. Armadillo. Shocking conditions in the city. Hmm. Machine kills man. Line up, Rhodes. Get your papers. Hmm. Albright captured. All right. Should we just have a? I know this might not be the most exciting, Line but... Up, Rhodes. Get your papers. Oh, no, not the journal. Not yet. I'm sorry. This is number 45. Mm. Oh, a horror show. Blood in the streets of Valentine. Lawman, Dutch gang. Cornwall ga guard guards face off. Did everywhere. Families grieving. Coroner. Coroner. Co overwhelmed valentine residents say it sounded like the indian wars had resumed on their streets at first shots rang out as a as women women and the feeble ran for cover it soon turned into an unrelenting something of gunfire lawmen traded shots with members of the notorious vandalin gang who had come to town to rob and steal now that's not true. A few agents known to be working for Leviticus Cornwall joined in the fray, quickly creating a scene of unmitigated chaos. Valentine is well known in the region as a rough around the edges livestock town with some something visitors and altercations are not uncommon. The recent state of violence is however unprecedented. Bar fights in the Smithfield Saloon are too frequent. Many are still in shock at the recent vi violence, including a brutal massacre of six Port Cabin. Local officials are calling on state and federal authorities for assistance in restoring order. Civil War soldiers turn criminal. Le the Morin Raiders turn free staters. Oh, there's a lot here. The war southern independence took many casualties. Almost every family in the country knew of a loved one who perished in that war. While many have put the conflict behind them and tried to bring our pride, pr 
proud nation back together. That very struggle continues to begwheel members of the Lemoyne Raiders gang. Initially looked upon as patriotic uh, heroes fighting against tyranny during that conflict, they have failed to let the war between the states pass to history, instead using it as a rally point to wage war on law-abiding citizens. And some say they have become the tyranny themselves. Structured as a militia unit, they continue to recruit young disaffected men and engage in robberies and arms deals, uh, even declaring that they are immune from tax and other regulation. They speak frequently of freedom and independence, yet there have been numerous reports of robberies from governments, institutions and citizens themselves. Current dispatches indicate they have taken up refuge in locations in the swamps in and bayos in the low, lowland country and many lawmen and bounty hunters are apprehensive to approach the area. Some have said it will take a massive amount of force to bring this murderous gang to heel. So it's... These can be quite difficult to read because um, for some reason whoever made the design for this text they have like the they want the text to fill the whole <clears throat> um, line like they want the the line on the, the back end to be like one straight line it doesn't make sense when i explain it but that means that there is a lot of gaps in the text some places which does not provide a good re uh, reading experience but uh it's fine <laughs> a second gold rush alchemist claims gold created from tin hmm. Treasure hunter disappears, was seeking famed emerald from Guama. Family fears the... Is that the guy we met? Treasure hunter and Gmail... Maybe not. No, I don't think so. World kidnap. Luxembourg royal. Hmm. Oh, some believe she was murdered. Sheesh. Woman's suffrage debate. Moin Lama. Kidnappers at, kidnappers at large. Lawmen on the hunt. Oh, a statewide man hunted is underway in the morning for the Anderson boys, the brutal and bloodthirsty gang who have taken to kidnapping and ransoming locals. Led by Anders Anderson, the outlaws are responsible for a spate of vi violent attacks and kidnapping in the region over the past five years. Fear has run rampant as word spread that ransoms were paid in the sum of over $2,000. And yet two of the three men kidnapped were badly tortured and maimed for life. Sheesh. Mm. Alright, if you guys are interested in reading these, you can just pause the video. I will... If something interesting shows up, I will read it in uh, when I edit the video. So, I just try and read what... I think it's most important, you know. So yeah. Hello, Mister. Hello, First good time. sir. Store's pretty self-explanatory. Feel free to browse goods and sundries on the shelves. Or there's a full range in the catalog right here. Oh, that's the whole range. All right. Do you have? You do have clothing. Nice. Uh, let's first, before I forget, buy some more food for... Oh, I can't? Well. Let's buy a new outfit. Mm. Ooh, Arthur! 
You're looking mad. Like hmm. Ooh, I like that as well. The gambler. Heartlands. Hmm. I do like that one as well. Oh, I keep messing that up. Um, however, the gambler looks real good. Have you ever seen such a clean and tidy store? Or such a bored man? <laughs> okay, I'm impressed. All right. Let me buy a bit more of provisions. Not that we need it, but... Want some big beans? Yours. That's fine. I know we'll find, um, like, canned strawberries. Is that a thing? Okay. Um. Okay. I think that's fine. For now? And then we are gonna go hunting, but it's just, you know. Arthur. Something else you're Arthur, after? Arthur, Arthur, Arthur. God damn. Looking snatched. Thanks. My good man. Okay. Let's go and check out the saloon. <gasps> this wagon we've seen. Morning. Hello. Fresh milk. Like we've seen that. This is the gunsmith. What is he looking at? I don't want no trouble. No, 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 please don't go, please don't go. <laughs> no. Excuse me, partner. Huh? Mister, I've been trapped down here. Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. No, 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 wait, please. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. What? Sad? You got to do something, please. He's never going to let me go. Excuse me? I'll try. Well, welcome, partner. First time? If it's a gun you're after, you'll want to take a look in the catalog and see what catches your eye. Can I... Been a mite suspicious about the new faces in town. Rhodes is welcoming, to be sure, but we can't just let all types have their way. Hey, that area's for me only! Is he gonna get mad? Watch yourself in my shop. But what's with you? Whoa, now. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me, right now. Nothing or no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now. All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. You got sure my about boy that? Sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. Mm. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. Just talk to him. You, you just stay away from me. Now, what I tell you about talking to your pa that way? Oh, oh, thank God. What in the? What is he wearing? Do it for his own good. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. Don't he shoot me, please. He his kid's son. Just, just leave me, us he be. Did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? 
Just what the hell is going on here? He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad son of a bitch. So, um... Please, please help me. He, he's got me chained up here. Don't take him away from me. He's all I got. Sir. Please don't listen to that maniac. He, he ain't my father. I can't lose him. Not again. Do I shoot this? Oh, 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 oh finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh you, you I'm sick sorry. Son of a Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that riverbank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you? You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's too late for apologies. You just count yourself lucky that I don't kill you for what you did. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for him, I do, but that is seriously not an excuse to kidnap an innocent person, and now I'm robbing him. I'm sorry, but business is business. Is there liar? I'm sorry. Are we not going to be welcome here? Did I? Okay. Dutch said no guns, but like... I just rescued someone. That's got to count for some... I could... Do I? That's all I'm gonna do, okay? I lost quite a bit of honor in that. Who is hot in my room? Jeez. All right, well, uh, that's a hotel. Is that so? Hey, folks. Sir, good morning. You back to stop Yes, that's that. I suppose that's that. What do you mean? Not a bad town you got here. Well, I never. Anyway, all the best. You take care now. I mean, I just freed someone. Out of the way or lose it. Howdy. How do you do? It's called supervision, all right? Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Hello. I swear to God. You know what? I'm feeling good today. That's mighty fine. Anyway, sorry, you don't need to know this. So long. Good morning. How do you do, sir? What is she doing? Watching hey, clothes? ma'am. Good morning, mister. So, you heard anything about any, uh, bounty hunters in these parks? Thanks. Sorry, I don't know. Yeah, I was just uh, wondering. 
I'll see you around. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. How oh, well? Hi there, Mister. Hell, we ain't want no more trouble from you. You hear? What did Just I do? Just passion through. Don't want no problem. Hey, friend. Hello there. Thank you. Is it because I shot the gun once? What are they doing? Oh well. <laughs> Just looking at each other. Hey mister. Well hello there. Ooh. Don't make it Look at this place. That's a great tune. Good day, ladies. Hello, ladies. And a very good morning to you. Good Did they have a saloon? Good morning to you, sir. Not saloon. A barber. How can I help you? Well, we out there hey fighting. now, settle down, fellas. Loonies. Sunday Southern, you're in my spot. Ah! Now get! Oh, there ain't no cause, no more. Won't pretend otherwise. Move along. We ain't looking for your company. Calm down. Hit the trail. Come on. Hey now, you're gonna leave here, you got me? Um, let's have a whiskey. Okay, have best, folks. Be you want a piece? That's Why can't you writers leave it at the door? Please, fellas! Excuse me. Oh, let's see if we can oh. clobber some. Hey, hey, hey. We can oh. rise out oh. here in the morning. Please, please. Right from the morning? Are you kidding me? Oh. 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 My gosh. Stand. Damn, he hit hard. Sissy, <gasps> would you call me, bitch? No. My whiskey. Um, I'm standing. No cards. Pick up his head. That's my head. They weren't wearing hats. Here, let's go upstairs. <laughs> have a look. Maybe they don't have a barber in here. What does that say? I do not know. I'm playing poker. Oh no, blackjack? I have no idea how to play that. Oh, well, that's the bathroom. Yeah, don't know how to play blackjack either. I'm so sorry. I'm glad we are still producing gentlemen. More gambler. Well then. So sorry to disturb the, the peace. Just leave out the back. All right. Well, that certainly did not go as planned. Oh, I can't even. Okay. Good morning to you. 
Fine morning. I, I am in a good mood for some reason. That's nice. Even the game is like, no, 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 you do not. See, when I'm out here, I can't even, like, find a gun, so... I guess that was only for... the, um... Move out of the darn way. I was allowed to in... Hello, mister. The... Hello there. Basement. Hey there, partner. Hello there. Bank of Roads. Can I go in there? Yeah. Hello. Mister. Hello there. Just wanted to see what it looked like. It's very, very fancy. Hey, folks. Well, hello there. All right. Doak? Come here. Hey, you good boy. You okay, boy? Look at him. So fluffy. Oh. Oh, you good boy. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are okay. All right. Let's, um. Hello. Sir. Morning, mister. This is turning into one of them days. Mm-hmm. Hey, you want a ride? I can take you wherever you need to go. Oh. That's cool. He's still going. Hey, mister. And he got feet now. Look at it. Good morning, ma'am. Morning. All right. Sorry, let's go do the Billy Midnight and get our mail. That son of a bitch gets a grizzly's ass for all I care. Huh. Anyway, hello, I'm best gentlemen. Y'all. Howdy. Fine day to you. That's what I thought. Maybe it's that. Uh... Hello again. Oh, I can ask him. Um. Well, first of all, hmm, I thought you were sweating a little. Shut up. And receive mail. Collect. Collect. Got a quartz chunk. Quartz. Chunk. Chunk. Hey, you there. A quick word. What can I do for you, sir? We're going to ask There's around. An old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you. Okay. There's definitely no bar. We're riding a train without even robbing it. Look at that. Oh, don't die, Kinoa. I swear to God. Do not run in front of this train. I will kill you myself. Right, there's a guy there. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen. This won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's saying that. I didn't shoot him in sleep, and if I did, it was the only way. Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me. Get away from me! Mr. Midnight! Uh. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Sir, just stop. Where are you gonna go? Like, why? There's power line. It was my fault. I do. You don't don't know touch nothing, it. Mr. Midnight. I want to talk. Don't do something foolish. You come for me. Oh no. Cut off. Perhaps I was doing that a little bit too slow. He's fast. I want to shoot the gun though. I want to try that. <laughs> so I might have to put a skip checkpoint. I'm not giving up. I can do this. What if I shoot him in the... Am I supposed to shoot him in the leg? Okay, I'm going for the leg. That- this is getting stupid. And he like... goes down. I missed! How do I miss? Poor Arthur. He's just getting shot all over and over again. Don't die. <laughs> well, what can you do? <gasps> Look at his gun. Midnight pistol. Um. Oh yeah, I'm about. I'm supposed to take a picture of him. Maybe he just he just needs to die. Um, is that good enough? There we go. How did we get gold? For that? Am I getting... Um... Shit, I'm just gonna wait until the train stops. <sighs> Might as well enjoy the ride. I'm so raining. They look scared. Legendary fish. Someone living near Flat Lake, Flat Iron Lake, is known for their interest in fish. Huh. Saint Denis. Is that Cornwall? Did it say that? Cor yeah. Cornwall fret. Oh man, look at the weather. Well, I think we're quite far away from home. No smoking. Fast food. What's that? Oh, this is like the big. Is this like bits? Bit, a bit the bit, bit, big city. <laughs> this looks like very established. 
Wow. Is this our step? I just want to get off before it starts moving again. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi. Hey, mister. Good lord, look at this. Ladies and misses. Dresswear specialist. The choicest weaves. Waves, weaves. Good lord. Hey, how are you? Good day. Hi. Hey, partner. Just that building looks incredible. That sucks. Well. Boys. Ooh. This is like definitely the big city, isn't it? Someone's coming. Come, please take a pamphlet. It might just change your life. Who's talking? I'm not a hater. I'm a racist, and I want you to be the same. Huh? I want you to ask yourself: Do hey there, I sir. consider myself? Pure. And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the most disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation? Mingling. Co-mingling. Nature. Nature likes purity. Nature does not like co-mingling. Nature likes a family tree, not a family bush. And this being America, and us being nature's paradise on Earth, yeah, you like to we it. must push hey. for purity. Excuse me, madam. I Behind want you. you, I need you, to be pure. Warner? You, sir, do you want a pamphlet? I've seen that too many times. <sighs> I'm interested to see what it says, so I'm gonna take one. Okay. Read it. It's really interesting stuff. I explain, using real science, why we whites are under attack, and what we must do to fight back. Under attack? Yes, under attack. People aren't the same, sir. I mean, white people are the same. And all the other races are trying to kill us. I don't want to die, sir. I got friends who's Mexican, friends who's Indian, mm -hmm. I've known blacks, Irish, Italians, good and bad and all. I've known good white people and bad white people. And above all, <clears throat> dumb white people. Like this fellow right here. You, sir, are a real fool. Can I please put a... How can you possibly believe in equality? I've never heard such nonsense in all my natural born days. This man believes people are equal. Speak for yourself, sir. Speak for yourself. I'm sorry. You just call me a fool? A fool! A fool! A fool! Come here! Hey, go away. I 
are really, really. Hey, move it. Are you Careful crazy? Now. Sorry. You'll be fine. Am I gonna get the law? Well, there's no witness. I thought I'd seen everything. Hello, mister. Hello, sir. Hello there. He deserved it. He did. Um. Wait. Look here. Good lord. What's this, Trevor? I'd love to go and explore this, but, um... I feel like we should, like, have a whole dedicated video to that. And I could imagine that we hey, will get back on. here. I got places to be. Oh, Doogie! Oh, there's a sta <coughs> stable. <laughs> Sorry. Homes for the blind. Wait. You do it, Tam. Welcome, is, Master. Is someone there? Anything to spare for a blind man? Um. Howdy. Wait, can I? Oh, you can't buy horses? Anyone spare a coin? I'll get you switched out. There we go. Problem solved. I come back and see. What the hell is your problem? Sorry. Hmm. Oh, is someone there? Hello? Please. Can you spare some money for a blind man? Whoa! Hey, Hodge! Is there someone there? I'm just a, a poor blind man. Someone told me to um to do that because not all of them are. Okay, okay, I ain't really blind. Just take it easy. <laughs> well, I'll be on my way. So, just wanted to check. If I pick it up, am I gonna take his money? He did drop a coin. <laughs> Alright. Well, if they got blindfolds on like that, I could imagine that. Not all of them are. Alright, well, now we got to see that as well. <laughs> um. Okay, should we maybe go and collect this and then go and do the this one? Was it a zebra? Oh, correct. Yeah. That could be fun. Hello? We're gonna focus a bit on um, side missions for a little bit because we have done a lot of story recently so and then we can always like do one at the end of the video we'll see i'm having fun just uh, running around exploring and but yeah this town just seems quite big so we're gonna Wait a little bit because we still need to check out a few things back at uh, at Rhodes. Mm -hmm. 
comes the train. Okay, okay. Yeah. We should probably like try and uh, check the what we also need to upgrade some satchels. See if we're close. Probably not. But close to uh, be able to get an upgrade for something. And also maybe try and write down a few things we can upgrade for the camp. See if we can go hunting for that. Oh, Jesus. I'm just messing with you. Damn jackass. I did not start any trouble though. Yeah. I stopped it. And I got called the jackass. Ooh, look easy, at that place. Easy. Kentucky Saddler. There's a few ones here. Yep. Are they all Kentucky Ken Kentucky Saddlers? The Tennessee Walker. Is that a Palomino? No. And Morgan. And Morgan. This one's pretty. The small ones. It's got a pretty color though. Jump! There's a dog! Is that a poodle? It is! Look at you! Hey boy! Hello boy! Precious. Oh. Well, oh, poodles are not my favorites, but um. Oh god, those them teeth! Good lord. Let's go, girl. All right. Let's see if we can go find someone who owes us money without causing too much trouble. Are we gonna ask around or workshop or office? Still don't look quite right. Can I go in? I heard someone. Hello? Hey, stupid! Out of the way! I was like, is he hiding in a coffin? Where is he? I hear him talking. In the back? Did I walk past him? Dad don't care if it's pretty, right? Oh. When Hughes? Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. He looks terrified. I, 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 I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I I, I can get it for you, but, um, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard and stay close, hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. 
What ain't you... right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you're correct, but oh, uh, no. <laughs> this it, it ain't exactly right. What we're doing? Uh, he's gonna go grub, grub, you ain't the first grub to put his hand a grave. In the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing oh, church no. has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> he makes casket, though. Oh, no. Okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there, it's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Oh, no. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. God damn it. I freaking knew it. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long oh. past prudishness. It's disrespectful. You'd rather disrespect the living, oh, breathing shit. woman. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on, I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! <laughs> I think you'll be fine. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. All right. All right, Gwen. We're good. Gwen, Gwen, Gwen. All clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. Stand guard and stop townsfolk from entering. Oh no. Oh no. All right. This ain't gonna be. Oh, there's someone coming. There's someone coming. What is he gonna. Oh no. Oh no. Lady. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time to. The place was in need of some care and attention. So they say. They can only enter here, right? Right? Now I'm a bit paranoid. Uh oh. That's for sure. There's them that's born to it. There's everyone else. Uh huh, that's how it is. Oh, Thanks no. You and me would be running things. Sure would. Uh huh. I have a feeling they're not gonna go easy. Hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This feller. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard! Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this feller? I heard him all right. Uh -oh. We're gonna lick you, bastard! Uh, uh, I'm gonna beat you, boy! Uh, let's go, Mr. Uh, Oh, Let's dear. go, mister. All right, show me what you got. Next time. Boy. Uh, shit. Hope this hole's dug. Oh, wait, that's not my hat. That one is. Here we go. I knew they were not going to go away that easy. All right, well, here's your payment. Oh, that's gross. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. And so what wrong. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. Looks like diamonds. 
I'm sorry. Hey, oh god. He's all covered. Oh no. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than, than clear what I what I owe you. All right. That'll do it. Okay. Now, after that, I think we are gonna head back to camp just for a tiny bit so Arthur can hey there, girl. maybe get something to eat and get some sleep. And then we can go and do this mission and then I potentially do a story mission. We'll see. I also want to read the journal. See if there's anything new in there. Yep. Oh yeah, and I also wanted to see if we could find that home robbery. We'll see if we can do something about that. Uh oh. What's that? The law. that worked yeah well we don't got time to celebrate come on you win i ain't going back in that box release him what the oh i did not mean to do that but oh well everyone ah. guess what's coming don't they Wait, where'd the other go? Alright, let's go. Can I did can I turn him in? The other one got away though. Look at the floor for a bit. <laughs> Good one. Wait, he disappeared. Well, there was two of them. I got one! Let's we'll see if this works. I haven't done this before. Um, oh, wait. Should we... like, the tunnings? There we go. It is getting quite late though, so we'll see if any one's in. Am I going? He's a prisoner. Stay clear of me, God damn you. I don't think. This might not go well. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Why did I Arthur, know? you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff 
Great. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. Oh. <laughs> I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. I could have told myself that was going to happen. Archibald? God How damn it, you? Cam. Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. What hey. we doing? Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, was Bill in the way? What? Moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure the football you did. player? Old Cotton family Soccer had a player? fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall <gasps> from grace <gasps> if they had oh, any grace to start with. I have no Look time the fog. for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about Sounds it like my kind of gal. Oh, these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Oh, we've been here. I'm not sure how far we're going. Hmm. Look at the look at the cows. Look at look at look at the cows. Okay, I I do think that Bill was in the way for a little bit. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. <laughs> Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Really now. Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. You see that wagon? We're going to go investigate? Damn 
flies. I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. <laughs> Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Oh. Okay, juice. Okay. No. This must have happened recently. Mm. The seat's still warm? Hey, come have a look at this. Oh. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, we've heard yeah, of them. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. What about the I'll other guy? Someone over here later to clean this up. Okay. God damn it. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Right to the swamp. Okay. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Go right at the crossroads. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. To drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. They're right again here. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look them in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Hmm. I don't know if I'm... <laughs> how I feel about Duchess' plan here. About getting... Like, how... I don't know. I just, like, if there's a $5,000 bounty on Arthur's head and Dutch is probably the most wanted man right now for the Pingertons, wouldn't they make sure that their faces were all over? Or... Uh, like, they have bounty posters. So what was I saying? For other Something people, but not for these. Even saying that word makes me Maybe they don't like her. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Whew. Sorry. It's like 2 a.m. right now. A little bit tired. <laughs> See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How we gonna handle this? Well, the way I <laughs> actually let my friend here decide, he doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll oh, take left. the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The chief of them, a fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. Oh, 
Oh, he's just walking in. Can we? Okay, Bill is. Help, Bill. Uh oh. See one by the bridge over there. Think you take this one, Bill? With pleasure. <laughs> I'll just have him do all the dirty job, all the dirty work. Probably shouldn't like. Or maybe it's too steep here. <laughs> right. Sorry. Done it. Done it. What am I pressing? Okay. Oh. Got him. I was like, I hope I can't take the bridge. That's gonna be too obvious. Q, Dutch, and the other. Sheriff walking across the bridge just on full display. Oh well, it worked out. Chip, 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 chip. A copy, a big one, fellas. <laughs> just drop him with the others. There you go. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> it. That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, um... It's like dynamite. Well, let's see. Bill. Down. Bill! Oh, you fat ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was mean. So, do we plant it? Plant dynamite? Okay. Then. How many. Is one enough? I can't Please put more. Done, sure. um, Just a second. Can I? Okay. I guess that'll do. How much am I putting here? Is that not gonna do it? Oh, here they come. Find Bill. Bill! Don't die. That was too damn close. Please. Arthur. Arthur. 
Where did these sons of bitches come from? The Raiders are all around here. Sorry, boys. We're putting you out of business. We're taking blood. Get food. Where you hiding? Here you go, Bill. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shooting that you just wasted like 20 bullets in a barrel. I'm out. Good lord. I can't see them. I like this gun. He's right there. Woo! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, I miss. Wait. It was like a letter? Wasn't it? Letter from Mary. This one? I don't see any more. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. William, Fine I am ready me. to let you know our rates against the Jayhawk in Lawrence, Kansas have been successful. There are many times since we set out on this campaign that I doubted that there was a god who loved us, but today I have a glimmer of hope that they call us Lemoyne Raiders, Bushwhackers, and Border ruff Ruffians does not diminish our fight for a free state and to be free from the incursions of northern northern northerners set in changing our way of life. I hope you will continue to work to recruit more young men to our cause here in Le Moine. We will ride through their ranks and smite down the oppressors. History is not over and shall be rewritten. It is always darkest before dawn. Hmm. Turn to Dutch. I know, I know, I know. They are gonna be very mad at me that I'm gonna <laughs> spend all this time looting and shooting. Bill, what are you doing? <sighs> this man. I think he's struggling a little bit. He's definitely living up to uh, his reputation of being a little bit stupid. He's, he's trying. He's really trying. All right, here we go. Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But 
I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no-good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Can yeah. This somewhere near Cambon? Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? You got like the fastest. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. He's got like the fastest horse. Whoa. You word. never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. He is going to overtake me. Cue the train. I sure hope you ride faster than that when the law's on your tail. Oh, good lord. Don't crash. Don't crash. Trees. Oh my god. Oh god, are we gonna run out of stamina? We're almost there though. No, 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 no. Come on. Just a little bit more. Don't fuck me off now. Alright, that's a good girl. <gasps> Focus. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. More? Huh? I say, oh, mission with Molly. Molly needs to speak to you.
Well, we're definitely gonna wait a bit with that. Is there food? No, we need to take care of the horse. But first, I want Arthur to eat something. If we can. There he is. The man who no. saved my hide not once, but twice. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even less when you're friendly. You're the first person ever told me that. Mm. My old <gasps> What's the sheriff's custom all about? Wait, 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 wait. Tilly! You okay, I can find you. You wanna talk? I do. Yes, please. Yes. This is what we missed, What's I think. What's going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been killing. A lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well... You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. Yeah, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike can put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. I'm not sure I agree, Arthur, <laughs> about killing innocent people. Fishing. Kieran and Arthur head out together to fish along shores. <gasps> oh, I want to go do that. Um... But not right now. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> I want to go fishing with Kieran. But first, I think we should buy the camp some food. What you reading, Dutch? <laughs> of course. <laughs> that old windbag. He's no windbag, son. He is a, a seer. He sees things that... We don't know yet. I know, I'm just teasing. You're just afraid of opening your mind because you might not like what you find. You're probably right. You know, you know, you always had the most incredible way of putting things. Mr. Miller has a Such way of putting things. Such a kiss ass. Me, I'm, I'm just... An old outlaw, not prepared to go quietly. Oh, you're more than that, Dutch. You're... You're... Well, you're amazing. Greetings, my boy. What a kiss ass. Like, honestly. What the hell is up with him? He must be after something. Yeah. Slimy bootlicker. Exactly. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then. Gross. <laughs> Hello, Miss Grimshaw. Um, where is now? I I need to. Is it still back at Duchess? It is. Okay. I don't understand that lawman get up. Mm. Oh. Um, well, now they have food, and can I?
Oh, okay. I think we can just give a lot of these things that can be sold for cash. Using crafting. Oh. I can only donate 60? It... It cancelled out on the with the knife, Morgan. Mr. Bell. So, you're still alive? Of course. No, oh, what a shame. Guess you must be doing something right. All right then, cowpoke. <laughs> um gonna have to shame Arthur. And then we can go and fish with Kieran before it's too late. There we go. Excuse me, you listen to me. I ain't got ideas above my station. I just ain't doing that no what more. What do you what think of the place? I don't know. Sure, so far, it I'm seemed okay, I guess. I think that there is yeah. rich pickings yeah. for some yeah. carpetbaggers yeah. like us. Whatever you got is that what we place? are, is it? Avenging your father's death after 30 years? There's gold, Arthur. Gold. If you say so. Dutch, I was actually trying to listen to the girls. Everything all right? Who does that woman think she is? Sometimes you just gotta humor her. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. Hey, listen. Try not to get too bogged down in all this. You got your whole life ahead of you. What do you mean? Just that this life will wear you quick if you ain't careful. There's so much going on right now. I can't even, uh... Okay. Kierna and Arthur head out together to fish along the shores of Flat Iron Lake. I like Kieran. I do. So let's do that. And. Before it's too late. Okay. He's just Arthur, sitting there waiting. You going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse, and let's go. Let go. Okay. Let's go, girl. Okay, so okay, where are we headed? follow me. I know All a great right. little fishing spot along the beach. Mm -hmm. Is it far? Because Who'd could we... It? Not Wasn't just that walk? long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're all fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep <laughs> saying that, but... I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. <laughs> Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now where's this spot? Uh, not much further. <laughs> Poor Kieran, it must be so difficult just living with a... Like being tormented like that. Just be happy we haven't killed you yet. Like. Is it here? We could have walked here in. We could have easily walked. It's 
spared the horses. This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. All right. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Well, well, well. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms. With worms? Or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Do we? Ha oh, we do have bread. Okay. I know some of you said that I should change, um... You getting many bites there, old Driscoll? I ain't an old So Driscoll. that you press square? I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner. Doesn't bother me that much. the horses, mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. <gasps> Not too fast. Calm down, fishy. Lie. No. There you go. Get in here. Looks like a blue kill, doesn't it? Maybe. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. No. It is a blue gill. Oh my god, I am so smart. <laughs> also called bream or copper nose. This oily, gritty fish is typically pan fried. Cheese is a good bait and can increase strikes. Um sure, let's keep it. see if you can hook another. Put some bread on it. Whoop. So you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Comb. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What's happening? What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? <laughs> wow. There's somebody who's hey, going to confess. Hey, watch the line! Whoa, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. I reckon we'll leave you to it. Just don't scare all the fish. Oh, just so you fellers know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. <laughs> well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. This game. So random, on, I love it. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I don't work as fast are. as an NPC, alright? Calm down. Woo! Man, 
I, I, I understand Kieran's frustration. Like, he's really doing his best to try and, and show them that he's loyal. But I also understand why why the gang is not trusting him yet. I, I think this is the place that naked fella was talking Ooh. about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. Uh -huh. Careful, Arthur. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. You found a legendary fish location. Your map has been updated. <gasps> Well, what would you catch it with then? In order to catch this in the fish, you need a special lure. These type of special lure is defined by the body of water where the legendary fish resides. Uh. Cast one in then, Arthur. Yay! <laughs> So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. Did you hook him, the big one? I don't know. Uh, don't feel like much of a fighter. Yeah, I don't think it's the big one either. Mm, no. Does not look that big. Nice catch. But that's not the big one we saw. I know, Kieran. I know. Let's sort back out. Is that a snake in the water? Disgusting. I'm actually curious to hear if anyone, like, without the special lore, caught the fish this. on this mission. I ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. He can't catch a break. I bet you got the big one there. Not sure, but he feels big. Arthur. What are you saying? Naughty naughty. That does not look like a bluegill. No, that's not it. Eh, we'll keep it. How long are we fishing? Just uh, curious. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. Yeah. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Oh, sorry. Come on, I'll see you later. Yeah, I think that's better. We're probably just gonna waste a lot of Ooh, look at the estate over there. Oh, that's pretty. No, we don't have to follow him. 
but I do think that we should, you know, see if there's better bait. Oh. Uh, do we have something it's for Kinoa? Okay, girl, just a scratch. I've, again, forgotten to feed Arthur. I apologize. He deserves better. He does. Uh, some of the tonics again. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm still unsure what it is I should be drinking. I'm just gonna drink this for now. There we go. Alright, should we just head into town and see if we can potentially buy something it looks like without knowing but they did talk about Braithwaite and that could look like some of their territory like there's this kind of grayed out space here um yeah i can't remember what the butcher there's also not the butcher the store if they sell like baits and such then we could just go and check that because I do not remember if that is the case I don't know if I should be trespassing I'm pretty sure that's is it not oh sorry bird oh maybe not yep. Or is it? Wait. Oh, that leads to the. Okay. I see. That's the Braithwaite. Do not mean to trespass. Does the sign say keep out? <laughs> Braithway Manor. No trespassing, no hunting on this property. Visitors will... Violations <laughs> will be... Prosecuted. Okay. Well... <laughs> yeah. Let's not go there then. <laughs> For now. Can we take a shortcut here? We ain't getting nowhere. It's the end of the century. It seems like we ain't much further on than we was in 65. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. We can still live free. We can still say we don't. Let's have some fun. I recognize you are answered to your laws. Fair to be one man living the truth and a million living a lie. Let me tell you something. Now, you all know that most of us old timers, we fought alongside each other. Third Lemoyne Regiment. It's the summer of 62. We was hunkered down by Copperhead Landing for weeks. It was a terrible time. It was terrible. Food was rotten. Humidity was unbearable. Nothing we had ever got dry. But we knew that sooner or later the enemy would be coming down the line of Hachi if they wanted to take San Denis. And sure enough, one morning we woke 
to the distant sound. The boom of a cannon. Next thing you know, there's grenades raining down on us. Modified artillery shells leave a man with the most horrific wounds. That's like nothing you ever seen. And then I get blown up into the air, and I'm as high as a house. And then everything goes black. And then I come to in a cloud of smoke. I think I must be at the gates of hell. And then it clears. And I see a swarm of them damn blue bellies. They're not 20 feet from me. And I ain't got no rifle. I ain't got no gun. I ain't got no nothing. So I just turn and I run at them. And they raise their rifles and they fire. But it don't make no sound. Their powder was too damn. So I get in there and I take them with my fist one by one until I know they're dead. And I just walk out of there as calm as the night. Something's only lost if you let it be. And as far as I can tell, you're all still breathing. Even though you're a bunch of lifeless saps. So fuck the hell up! You hear me? Can only take one. Watch out, oh no. I don't have any cover. I don't have it. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. That did not go quite as planned, but we survived. That's the most important part, right? Now I just gotta stay alert because last time more people showed up after a short while. Cigarette cards. Cigarettes, not cards. Um. Wait, it's just a regular si Okay. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> right? There we go. Premium. There we go. Sorry about that. Oh. Oh. Gone oil? Um... Not that it needed that much. We'll uh, check the other guns. Am 
Maybe this needs a tiny bit. There we go. I can open this. Other side? There we go. Alright, what they hide in? Okay. Can't take more of the revolver ammo. There's a box over here. Oh, the room? This gun? Okay. Brandy. Wait, where is all those things? I don't... We're drunk. <laughs> okay. We have more. There is a box over here as well. And food. Or the peach. Corn. Canned vegetable. Oh, here they are. Oh, Jesus. No! Are there... What else? Wait, there's something in that house. You guys see that? Um. Do I want to rob people? I don't know who lives here. No. 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 I feel bad. And we just... 
We're just gonna go into town. We can do it later. I just, right now... I'll just feel awful doing it. Okay, I think... That was it. I know, like, the things are glowing. Wait, what's that? Is that a hat? What is that? It is a hat. Why is it there? Nope. Okay. Well, now this town is probably closed. Well. Come on, girl. Yep. Should we... Since it's night time and you guys always tell me that I should... Go explore, even when it's night. Then um, let's go a bit closer to the estate, the Braithwaite's. And see. See what we run into. Sky, so pretty. Could be cool if we could like catch a legendary fish today, but I kind of doubt that the bait is gonna be that easy to get. We'll see. If they don't have any bait, I might look up, look it up to see where you can buy it. Yeah. Because it could be a case of that it's different places that. Okay then. <clears throat> that we need to. What is he doing? Is the sun rising? Oh hell, easy, someone easy. showed up. Oh. What you were looking at? March along. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt. Last chance to walk. Like, if they are the enemy, I might as well just... They're bad people. At least from what we know so far. And I mean, I don't lose honor for shooting them, so... There's that. Sounds like a burnt down building over there. Hey there, girl. Idiot. So they were uh, practice, target practice, shooting. <laughs> now look at that. Easy now. Is there a war? Get down and cover now! Uh oh. Sheesh! Calm down! 
How did you not die? A hideout for them? Where are you? Quit hiding. There you are. Senseless idiot. <laughs> Agree. Well, maybe it is like a hideout for them. It makes sense, I guess. Like these abandoned buildings. What is that hat? Military officer's hat. We found a special hat. <gasps> Oh, we can inspect the structure. It's an old church? Yeah. Abandoned church. I uh, saw an old church, found it interesting, not sure why. Apparently there's gold or women or something at the root of this. And if it's gold, we want it. Either way, we are so deep in the swamp and so entirely lost ourselves. I hope it will take the Pinkertons and their and they're like a long while to find us. Uh, we shall see. <laughs> in the meantime, a new career path in the law seems to await. Seems like amongst our other perils, a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders won't take too kindly to outsiders. Or anyone who ain't living in the distant past. Deputy Sheriff, finally we have achieved a state of true insanity. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I am deputized. I'm a deputized lawman. We went off with some moronic dupe deputy working for the alcohol drench Sheriff Gray, pursuing some moonshiners. Dutch is convinced this is this will somehow lead to riches beyond compare. Seems the one powerful local family, the Grey's ex Scots, is were warring uh, with another proud English family, the Braithwaites, like some long running dispute from the poor border country. Oh, poodle! <gasps> so cute! Yes, Billy Midnight never escaped his past. <clears throat> Guy was deranged about shooting some fella in the back or in their sleep or something else. Very sensible in my opinion. Anyway, guilt had consumed him. So a real proper gentleman, he tried to kill me. <laughs> so like a real proper gentleman, okay. <laughs> Met a fella called Miss Margaret. An animal, pff, I spat everyone. Jeez. An animal trainer and showman or showwoman, mistress of danger. Quite a character. Wants me to find some missing animals. That's a good drawing, Arthur. That's the saloon? Oh, the restaurant, yeah. Oh, wait, there's a. Uh... Because I'm reading it backwards, so. Roads. Okay, so this is the new chapter. So it turns out we're holed uh, up outside a town called Rhodes, deep in an old cotton country. In, the, in old cotton country. Uh, the place has not recovered from the war and those folks that is sober enough to think are still angry. The drunk, which is most of them, are angrier still, but perhaps for other reasons. Adding to the absurdity? Absurdity? Yeah, we appear to be planning to deputize ourselves into the local law enforcement and have already taken down a major bounty on their behalf but mostly to rescue slippery old Trelawney 
who had gotten him who had got himself arrested for some of his usual nonsense. Seems like there is a long-running blood feud between two old families here, and both Dutch and Hosea believe they may be sitting on a lot of gold. So we shall see, I guess. All right, I think that's what we got for now. Do they have anything in here? Except for a campfire? No? It's my campfire now, bitches! <laughs> Anything up top? I like how Kinoa is just chilling. <laughs> He's badass. Alright, I don't know if there's anything else. Doesn't look like it. Nothing secret. Well, we didn't make it that far <laughs> in the night. Oh, we found a church. An old church. Just have a look. Um, okay, I mean, we could go down here and then head back. So let's do that since it just goes around. See what we can find. Through here. Ah. Jesus Christ. Glad I weren't the target. Thank you for your help. Real shame what they're doing to folk. I'm sick of this shit. Hope you're okay. Are you gonna... You're gonna move? Hello there. Alright, well... You stay put then. You might need a moment to recover, that's fine. I just want to see if there's like something available over at the camp. I guess we can't see it when we're that far away. Okay. Yeah. We made it to the water. Is that a house over there? It is. Uh oh. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Is it drawn on the map? <gasps> That's a lot of people. Okay, we will um get back to that. <laughs> Because um, I, I do not... Oh! Oh, the bolt in the tree! What in the... Easy. What in the world? Can you draw that, Arthur? That's funny. 
How the hell did that happen? A storm? There's a story here somewhere. <laughs> hmm. That's a big tree. Okay. Well, if you're not gonna draw that, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Guess that's just there. Chillin'. You stay put. I yep. uh, see some smoke over here. Do we check it out? Easy. Morning. Hello. Mister. This is a bad idea. Easy there. Hey there, partner. What the hell are you doing here? I'm sorry. Get out of here hey. now. Right. Sorry. I just saw the fire or the smoke, okay? Some people are actually friendly. <sighs> All right. Well then. Oh, there's a little house here. Maybe? Can we go in there? What do you guys think? Am I gonna... <gasps> I don't know why, but it... What the hell... Happened here? This... Oh god... That's a family photograph. Oh no. Oh no. Is there a note? Newspaper scrap. Slave ca catcher? Newspaper scrap? $200 reward ran away from the subscriber on the night of August 17th. Uh, a man who called himself Curtis Whirl? He is stoutly made, about 27 years of age, and 5 feet 9 inches in height. He wears his hat combed, and upon his body are several body marks of the whip. His counten countenance is rather sullen, and when spoken to, he answers quickly. I will give a reward of $200 for the apprehension and return of said boy to Roach Jail of my property of Shady Bell. At Shady Bell. Scarlet Meadows in the state of Lemoyne, Joseph Charlesworth. Oh. Can't take the one. Something attacking my horse? What's happening out here? <laughs> 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 
Oh, it's a snake. It's a fucking snake. You guys see that? Die, bitch. I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry you had to deal with that. Oh no. I really hate snakes. I really do. I'm sorry. They they freak me out. Let's pick it up. Look, it's oh, it's so big as well. Do I? Oh, I can't stow it. Oh. Something for the camp. Was there more in here? So I guess this is where he was hiding. Uh, what did I want to do? Wait, the drum. Can I... Where can I not pick it up now? Let me try and... Leave? <laughs> Jump scare! <laughs> okay, it will not... Oh, there we go. Got him. Sometimes picking up things is a bit finicky. But we manage. Okay, my girl. Alrighty. Let's head to town. Not the butcher. Here we go. Or maybe the fence would sell that as well. Alright. Yep. Wait, was I crazy? Okay then. Oh no. You got, you see that? Where's the note? Is this not the serial killer thing? Oh, there it is. Oh, poor fella. Uh, I'm making a point with you. Uh, huh. Oh, the head in the... Oh. Hmm. Girl. 
guy is so freaky. <sighs> Good God. Yeah. I was like, I thought I saw blood on the ground. I was like, is that just random or... Yeah, no. It was definitely not random. Turn this wagon to wagon fence. <sighs> I should have. <sighs> but don't we only know one, right? A wagon fence. It is so far. <laughs> it's all the way over here. Right? Fence. Because I don't think... Is it worth trying this guy? Because we only know one. We can try that fence, but I do not think he's gonna accept this. We're gonna go to town, try that the first fence, and then, you know, check out the general store for bait. Um, and if none of that is what we are looking for. And we are going to go to Emerald Ranch yeah. and take it from there. <laughs> um, and I most likely won't bring you guys on the entire journey to Emerald Ranch because. It's so far, and we've pretty much seen all of that. So, I mean, obviously, if anything happens, anything interesting happens, you guys will uh, will see, or if we come across something. I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me! Gavin? Hello, I'm Gavin. I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please! Partner? Uh, listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. An English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing and uh, now I'm all alone. Mm. Good luck. That's, uh... That's too bad. Gavin! Uh, Gavin's friend. I'll I'll this keep a This is really worrying me. Gavin! The 
I was gone for 30 seconds. And the aliens abducted my wagon. You all right, girl? That's, that, that's not my fault. I was... I was not even that far away from it. seen Gavin can you actually define Gavin somewhere has he run off well oh, I am so worried let's we'll see I sacrificed the wagon for Gavin okay to make sure he uh, has a safe return. Yep. Hey, folks. Mister. Oh, you came back. How you doing? Yeah. Have a look. Mm. All for sale. Except the floorboards. Right? Floorboards. Oh, <laughs> okay. Sorry. I just assumed you couldn't read. Thanks. Uh. Okay. He did have some for fishing. Predator bait? Probably not. A lake lure. Okay, I can't buy the crickets. Did you say something? Fine. Uh, we probably have one of those. Actually. Wait, what's that? Coffee? Used to, to brew coffee at your camp, okay. Well, they had the lake lure, but... Large-sized lake fish. I think that's what we got from Hosea, right? What? Is that... is that smell? Is, is that you? Got what I need. Thanks. How's your friend getting on? Thanks, partner. Not something a lady should be wearing, in my opinion. But each to their own, I suppose. Didn't you just leave? I did, but then you said something about Sadie I did not appreciate. You're lucky you're the shopkeeper. I already pulled if my gun out. If you doing some shopping, come on back. Yeah, probably won't now. You look fancy. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, mister. How can do I... you, sir? Can we, um... Hey, folks. Why, hello there, sir. Can we go in here? Money. No? All right. Okay, then, girl. Um... Well, we could buy more bread and cheese for bait. I'm not sure. Because it could be cool to catch that. Alright, I just quickly had a look and we can get... Because... Was it? Oh, wait. Oh, we already been there. Oh. Well, let's um, head up there then. Because that's where we can buy like baits and such. But I was like, I don't think we've been there. So I'm, I'm going to wait until we like get the opportunity to go up there. But um, 
let's uh, do that by the bait and see if we can catch a fish. <laughs> I think that could be fun. There we go. <laughs> I know I can't use weapons, but I'm allowed to eat, well. right? Hello. Oh. Now where was I? Hello there. Though in truth, this man deserves no earthly respect from us, as a sign of respect to our creator, we pay respect to the dead. What's happening here? Oh father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? Tell us straight, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. A brave man, undone by pride, doomed to a life of sin and vice. Let us pray for this man, O oh Father. Provide him mercy. Amen. Howdy. Hello. Hey there, mister. Hey there. Sorry. That was a bit respect, uh, not respectful. Um. Okay, girl. Uh, not res uh, words. Disrespectful. There. <laughs> Sorry. Other way. <laughs> Whoops. I'm too busy looking at the nature, okay? I'm gonna cross the bridge here. Right. I think we've been there because we uh, picked up a a lady um, because her horse had died. Help me. Someone help me. Sir? Let me guess, you're bit by a snake. I'm going to die. Please. I've been bitten by a snake. Yeah. I need medicine. Oh, uh, I need to suck the out. Yeah, we've uh, we've done it okay. before. Don't worry. We're professional. I have an idea. Not a word to anyone. You know I mean? I owe you one, mister. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Got that right. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it. Uh, uh, out here. No more. Yeah, I get that. Uh, just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? <laughs> You'll be fine. No, 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 no. That's I. Ah, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That's I. <laughs> Sir, I'm so. S no, 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 no. Holy Jesus. Okay.
I swear on my life, I press triangle to get on the horse. so bad <laughs> I wish you could apologize in this game yeah. well I guess we won't get um, a reward later on <laughs> I'm so sorry Okay, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yep. <laughs> oh, I hear a snake. Oh, that's not a snake. That's that. Oh my god. Oh, I hate this area. I want to go home. There we go. I want to go home. Arthur, please put on a hat. Thank you. Hello. Oh. This is smile. Okay. Everything is... It's a disaster. There we go. At least the game pulses. <laughs> when uh, that happens. <sighs> Are we there yet? Because... <sighs> we really need to go home. I'm, I just need to be out of nature fishing on my own where I'm in no danger to anyone. Please pat you. I need it. I need emotional support right now. Thank you. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good dog. Yeah, he's a good dog. Okay. Come Hello. On, sir. Welcome. Do you have what I need? Swamp blur, river, lake blur. Hmm. Swamp fish? You will have good luck with that, guaranteed. Okay. Okay. Um, there is like a, I think it's a mission that we need before it's unlocked. Okay. Well. <laughs> the fish is just gonna have to wait because it is a, a mission. Thank you. I think you that we need to accept and I do not... I just saw the name of the mission. I do not know where it is. So hopefully we'll stumble across that eventually. Um, mission failed successfully. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that was a fail and a half, but... <sighs> Let's end it off by go and get an animal for for this guy. Just to have a little bit of success, okay? <gasps> Go!
Everyone is gonna hate me after this episode. I s I'm so yeah. sorry. Uh, <laughs> I really don't do this on purpose. I swear, I'm not an awful person. <laughs> At least the, the dog didn't die. That could have ended very badly. Accidents happen, okay? Yeah. I really don't know what to say. Easy, easy. <laughs> yeah. So at least it's kind of quiet during night time. It's very peaceful. There's smoke over there. Do we go and take a look just for the hell of it? Yeah. Slow it up. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Okay, I've learned my lesson because once I start taking things, can I just remove this from... I don't want it. I'll leave it. Here you go. A gift from me. There you go. <laughs> Let's go, girl. Okay. Because I know yeah. when I start stealing things, people or you know, borrow things, people are gonna start showing up and get mad. So, not gonna do that. We've got plenty of food. We don't need it. Oh, that's the way we got our horses. Okay. Alright. Are we close? No? Do we have the rope ready? I, I don't know what we're doing. I, we're catching an animal. Or... Margaret's missing zebra was last spotted in this area. Oh, zebra? I have a feeling it's not a zebra.
but um, that might just be me. There is an animal here. Lucky. What they done to you? That is. Yep. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh... <laughs> Come on. What? Careful. Careful. Yeah. There you go. Easy. 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 You calm? Wait, that was stupid. I didn't. Yeah. I thought it was calm. Yeah. Why is it so fast? Donkey! No. Donkey! Get back! Calm down! Yeah. There we go. Right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. I swear. I sw get zebra. Stop. Stop. Come on now. All right, go. Do it. Come on. All right, we do it this way then. We do it this way. I wanted to like calm it so I could do this differently, but um, the game won't let me. So and I'm not losing stamina by this. So. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, that is not a zebra. <laughs> Doesn't sound like one. Okay, how far away? Quite far away. All right. Well, this should be interesting. Come on. You stubborn mule. Come on. Okay, well, at least it's following, so... <laughs> sounds so miserable. Come on, this way. Woo! <laughs> Press the speeder. Oh. <laughs> Sounds so sad. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get you home. have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. I think we're almost there. Yeah, it's right over there. I think. Maybe. Is it? Yeah, it is. Come on. Yeah, your family's over here. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Here you go. One zebra. <laughs> here you are. Good here grief! You, go. you found him! Our zebra! <laughs> well, you can't call him that. 
Although he's as much a zebra as you are a You're gonna put lady it on. animal wrangler. Oh, dear. You're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion. A trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. The allure of the stage. Dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning? There, in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary. It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... As long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. As in right now, or...? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Find the tiger handler. Okay, we don't have to do it right now, right? All right. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. <laughs> I don't even know what happened today. Jesus Christ, man. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I did try to slow down a bit with the main missions. We did do a couple of them, which again, the one with the prison. I don't know what I was thinking. I could have told myself that a mission was going to start, but what can you do? <laughs> what can you do about it? Um, yeah, it, I mean, it was fun. But <laughs> just, just, it was a little bit all over the place this episode, but um, you know, it's... <laughs> I guess they're more fun when it's like that. So yeah, we did go ahead and try and explore a bit more today and, you know, just see a bit more of the town and this new area. And it, we did a couple of side quests. So I'm happy about that. And I think next video, we're going to start off by doing this Margaret's um, quest uh, side mission. And then we can... Um, see because I, I i don't want to necessarily go to braithway manor just because um trespassing uh they did seem quite serious about that and yeah i do want to you know try and get some of the legendary fish and there's also the legendary animals which i did look at the map in a previous video but it's not that it needs to be precise, but it's very um, open <laughs> to interpretation. So we'll see if we come across some areas where it says, like, because I think with the fish locations, it says that we're in a legendary fish location. Uh, so I think it will do the same for the animals. I hope it will. So yeah, I don't think, except for the bear, which w was a, a quest with Hosea, um, otherwise, I don't think we run into any legendary animals areas. So we'll um, we'll take. We still got so much of the game left, so um, we'll we'll get to it eventually. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm a bit out of breath. I don't know why. These last forty minutes was quite eventful. I, I'd say. Yeah, I'm excited to play more, and I still love this game very much. And we do also have some depth to go and collect. And I know a lot of you keep telling me to go and get. Or, you know, get a horse up here by Lake Isabella. And we might do that eventually. But from what I've understood, it's a albino Arabian. And kind of like Dutch's horse. Um, which means it's going to be quite dainty. Or quite slim. Which it's going to... Arthur is going to look like he's riding like the Morgan you can buy. And I already talked about how I feel about that, um, which is, spoiler alert, not great by, you know, a big grown man riding like kind of a small pony. 
because there's something about like, the weight of the horse and the, the the length of the horse's back and yeah it's, i know it's just a game but <laughs> i i have mixed feelings about that it's like if you have a very small pony and a grown man sits on it it's it's not fair because the horse's back is not i think it's like 20 percent of its own body weight that it can carry or it's allowed not allowed to carry but yeah I, yeah <laughs> there's a lot of um not that i necessarily agree with 20 percent but it is just a lot of weight to put on kind of a small surface area if you get me yeah so most likely won't be doing that at least not in the near future um i might just cap capture it just to have it but um it's it won't i'm not gonna be going there to just get the the best horse in in the game because that's i like the horse i have right now and we'll see if we come across any in the stables that we'd like to buy or stuff like that so yeah now i've said it we'll see how many people actually watch this part of the video <laughs> But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. I also stream over on Twitch and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you'd like to support my channel even more, you can check out the links in the description down below. That is all from me for now. So bye and take care.